What about a matrix that isn't diagonalizable? Let's run through this one pretty quickly. Here's a matrix. We'll try to diagonalize it. It has two eigenvalues, negative two and one. Again, finding characteristic polynomials and stuff, we'll just do off screen. And now for each eigenvalue, we'll look for eigenvectors. We'll start with negative two. We perform Gauss-Jordan elimination on the appropriate matrix. We find the eigenvectors. And again, even though there are infinite many eigenvectors, we really only get one of them. So this eigenvector, for example, we get by letting v2 be one. If we let v2 be something else, three or seven or negative one half, we'd get another eigenvector but it would be a constant multiple of this and therefore not linearly independent. So we only get one linearly independent eigenvector from this eigenvalue. We need three linearly independent eigenvectors. So let's move on to our second eigenvalue. The same thing happens here. We find the eigenvectors and there are infinitely many of them, but we can only get one linearly independent eigenvector, like one, negative one, zero. Any other eigenvector we get would be a constant multiple of this. And now we're done. We've, our, we've looked at both our eigenvalues, but we only managed to get two linearly independent eigenvectors. So we can't perform the diagonalization. A is three by three. We needed three linearly independent eigenvectors to diagonalize.